Love is burn, and if you are not taking enough action in your love life because you're afraid of being rejected by quality men, you need to watch my episode today because I'm going to share with you how to turn this around once and for all. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart centered women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man that you want into your life as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you. No need for gimmicks, manipulations, or games. Now, I hear from lots of women who are not putting themselves out there, who are being really shy who are watching Netflix instead of going out and creating connections because they're afraid, deadly afraid inside, that they'll be rejected by a man. Now, not just a guy, but a guy that they feel attracted towards. So if you feel that this is something that you're struggling with right now, whether it's at a very extreme level or at a subtle level, but subtle enough that it's preventing you from finding your true love, here's five specific steps you can take. Number one is I want you to understand how you define rejection and redefine it. What does that mean? Well, most women and most men, if you ask them to be honest and say, what is rejection to you? They'll say, well, I say hi, they don't say hi back. I look at someone, they don't look back. I smile, they don't smile back. I like someone, they don't like me back. That's such a low quality, that's a, such a low standard for rejection that it's no wonder that if that is your subconscious rule, you're going to crawl, wounded through life, feeling rejected left and right. But what if? What if you could consciously redefine and up your level of standard of what it takes to be rejected. What if you can create a new definition and in your conscious definition, you can only be rejected when you showed up and express yourself exactly for who you are and you're doing this in front of someone that you know, not just hypothesize about, you know is worth your time and energy and attention and they've gotten a chance to know you and after they've gotten a chance to know you and you've determined that they have lots of things to offer to you, then you determine they, they don't want you. Maybe then allow yourself to feel rejected. But if you up the game like this, if you make it harder by having a higher quality standard, not just by making up stuff, but by having a higher quality, more conscious rule than so many of the people, I would say 95% to 98% to 99% perhaps of all the times you felt rejected, don't even pass this test which means you can go on and continue putting yourself out there and getting more of what you want. So redefine rejection and don't have a low standard that makes you feel inadequate left and right every single day of your life. Number two, you have to understand that how you show up increases or decreases your magnetism. And the higher your magnetism, the lower the likelihood that someone will reject you. The lower your magnetism, the higher the chances that people will want to reject you, not just men, anyone. Why? Because you're not showing up as who you really are. You're not showing up for your true self. You're showing up one-tenth of your light, one-fourth of your magnetism, one-seventh of your intensity or excitement, uh, one-twentieth of your sensuality. And at that level, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting the mediocre version of you that's showing up in that specific circumstance. Understand that sometimes rejection is just a snapshot in time. And if in that moment you showed up with a low level of radiance, then it's more likely that people won't want to stick around and connect with you. Why would they, right? Now, I'm not saying you have to put on a show and you have to be a clown and make people laugh all the time, metaphorically speaking, to be liked. What I'm saying is that the more consistently you show up in your full bloom light, the less likely it is that you'll have men moving away from that saying, I'm not interested. The more men you'll have connecting with you, which is a different kind of problem why? Because when you're a strong magnet, you attract all sorts of men, not just great quality men. You'll attract players, you'll attract guys who just want to hit and run, metaphorically speaking. You'll attract so many different types of men, but you'll be able to have more choices. And that's what really matters. So show up with more light and decrease your likelihood of not wanting people wanting to connect with you. Number three, understand deep down it's a numbers game. Why? If you show up and you connect with one or two men, that's not enough for you to figure out if they're the right fit for you or not. Now, if you said, I've connected with, I don't know, 7,500 men over the last year, well, that may be too much. But understand that the more you connect with men in your energy, in your light, owning your confidence, expressing what you want, leaning back, allowing them to step forward, asking good questions, the more you show up as a high-value woman with lots of men, the more likely and the quicker this will take place for you. 
Now, there's always a point of diminishing returns where if you're dating on, you're going on 10 dates a week, that's too much. But if you're not doing enough, which is the problem most women face, then you're on the five or 10 year plan and nobody wants to be on the 10 year plan. So change it, only you can change it. Number four, stop making the default. When you connect to a man who's attractive, you are proven and I need to prove myself to you. Like a lot of women, who connect with men and have this fear of being rejected, when I see someone who, they, who appears to be a great catch, they say, well, instead of he appears to be a great catch, well, he is a great catch. Therefore, the one that's the unknown entity is me, so I must prove myself to him. And I know that nobody consciously thinks that way, but subconsciously, you might be doing this right now. And if you're doing it, I need you to stop. And I need you to start creating what I call a hypothesis version of human beings, which means when you see someone that you feel in two seconds is the guy of your dreams because he's so amazing, so awesome, so connected, stop saying that and say he appears to be awesome, connected. The jury is still in the details and with time you'll know if it's true or if it was his testosterone allowing him to show up with a lot of awesomeness for one date but not sustain it for months or years, right? So. Stop making the default that people are already great and understand that they also have to show up. They also have to be consistent for you to know that you want to be in a relationship with them. Again, raise your standard for what it takes for you to decide that you want someone. You could be interested in someone. You could be, maybe he would be great. But when the moment you say he is great without knowing him, you're stepping into murky waters that can get you drowned. <laughs> Number five, I need you to celebrate the right things. What does that mean? Most human beings celebrate when they buy the house, when they have the pay increase, when they get the ring. And okay, th th you should celebrate those things. Those are important milestones in your life, but that's not what life is. Life is not milestones. Life is everything that happens in between the milestones. So if you can celebrate the fact that you showed up with more courage, if you can celebrate the fact that you chose to go out, even if no one spoke to you versus watching Netflix, if you celebrate the fact that you're in the ring versus on the bench providing water for the players, then you're celebrating the right things. You're celebrating, you're teaching yourself to celebrate not the outcome of what happened when you show up with more courage, but the fact that you became a more courageous woman in the pursuit of showing up high value. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful. I hope that you get a chance to redefine rejection and to put yourself out there knowing that the more you do those that in the right place, the more you'll get what you want. If you find this is helpful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes. And number three, if you feel this is helpful and want to take it to the next level, I created a free masterclass. If you click on the first link under the description of my video, you'll be taken to a page that allows you to put your name and email, and then you'll start watching that masterclass for free right away. If you want my help, my personal hand-holding and help to get what you want, then there's a second link on the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.